Good afternoon, people of YouTube. Today I'm brought to you by me, sponsored myself. You know, I don't need nothing. Anyways, so um, I came across a video of the CEO of Federal, of uh, uh, NCCI, explaining what's going on with the ammo shortage and what they're going to do and their plans for the future. Um, I feel like a lot of people do need to know what's going on with the ammo shortage um because it's very important you know the people that three years ago didn't want to buy weapons because they hated weapons now they own them and now they're buying tons of tons of ammo just like we did just like we are and we can keep doing and now it's an ammo shortage um you know it's, it's just it's just a quick little video for you guys to to, to look at and uh, for you guys to um, to get knowledge on what's going on, you know, because you you as a gun owner are responsible. You as a gun owner are responsible and is responsible for you to know what's going on around your gun community. You understand what I'm saying? Um, for you to know and for you to be more knowledgeable and understand your rights in your state or wherever you're at, but be well informed of your gun rights because there is a lot of people that are infringing our rights as in right now and it's next couple of hundred days it's going to get even worser i guarantee you that um and guys you know god god help us all you know that's all, that's all i gotta say it's coming though it's coming but get prepared and uh get well known of your rights and Here's the video I want to show you guys. Hope you guys like it. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Whatever you guys want to do. If you want to subscribe, don't do nothing. But make sure you mark something in that comment section, though. I want you guys to talk something bad about it. Anything. Anything. I love it. Bring everything. Have a good day. Please be safe. Go practice. And 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 drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Please, fellas. You thirsty bunch of people. See you guys later. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Vanderbrink president of the CCI Federal Spear and Remington Ammunition. Our last video we did had been viewed over two million times so far. So our, our gratitude and appreciation goes to all of our loyal customers who had viewed it, had shared it with your friends. So you can understand the shortage of ammunition as we see it as a major manufacturer. So I think what we wanted to do since we received over 13,000 comments was to answer some of those questions and concerns and be transparent with our customer base so I think it's appropriate and we're going to attempt to answer some of those questions right now. One that first came up and lots of different questions on it, what are we doing for the health of our workforce? Certainly since the pandemic hit, uh, health of our workers is paramount to our company. That, that health of our workforce is number one. So we're strictly adhering to the CDC guidelines, work from home for all the office personnel has been in place for several, several months. We are temperature checking, we are requiring masks, we are requiring social distancing, we are restricting the amount of people that come to our factories. So we have a very, very good track record of doing proactive initiatives to keep our workforce very healthy and their families healthy as well. Another question that came up, which I get asked every day, rightfully so, is where is all the hunting ammo this year? So I gotta say, without giving specific numbers. Federal's been around for 99 years. We've made more hunting ammunition this year in, than we have in the 99 years of our company. Certainly that wasn't enough. Um, we understand that, but it's safe to say we put out a lot more hunting ammo in 2020 than we have in 2019 and any other previous year of our 99 year history. I think it's a good thing with the social distancing that hunting brings we saw an influx of new hunters this year, which is exactly what our industry needs. It's the, there is not a better social distancing activity than hunting, or if you do it because you like the organic meat. Whatever the reason, we need to ensure that hunting ammunition is available going forward because we don't wanna lose all of the new hunters that the industry has gained, whether it be us or one of our competitors. Frankly, we love what we see as far as the demographic and the new entrance into the market and hunting ammunition is just, there. it's just a, the lifeblood of all of our companies. So bear with us, stick with us. Trust me that we are doing everything we can to fulfill that market.
but to see the growth that we saw in hunting market in such a short amount of time, no company could react that fast. It takes raw materials, it takes direct labor. Um, so we certainly were proactive in a lot of that, um, but at the same time, increasing capacity that quick just certainly wasn't uh, possible. But rest assured, we made a lot more hunting ammo in 2020 than we have in the 99 year history of our company. Another very important question that's on a lot of people's mind is what are we doing with primers? The answer is very, very simple on primers. As the ammunition demand continues to surge, the primer market suffers because the primer capacity, instead of going to the commercial market so reloaders can use our primers, that capacity is now going to feed our internal needs to produce all of the Remington CCI Federal Spear ammunition. So if the market and ammunition is very hot, as it is today, historically, the primer market suffers because all manufacturers use primer capacity to service their needs in their own factories before selling the primers off as excess. So another question that comes out of this, which is right, a right question, is why don't we just increase capacity? I, I've seen lots of comments that why don't you just build another factory? Well, we gotta go back for the last three years prior to March when the uh, surge started, there was a lot of excess capacity into the market. So with ex excess capacity, it didn't make any sense to expand capacity even more. So we wanna utilize our factories at capacity as much as we can. And if we made a, an investment today, it's several years before we're going to see more capacity come to the market. But we can't simply just build a new factory or simply just expand. It doesn't happen that fast. So bear with us, there's nothing going on on the primer shortages. It is strictly going to feed Federal Remington CCI Spear factories first. So hopefully that helps answer some of the questions that we got from the last video. I think going forward, we'll do more of these and certainly we have a fun one coming up with what we're doing at Remington. But I just wanted to say thank you for all of the business. And again, as we are supporting American manufacturing jobs, whether it be the thousands of people thousands of employees that we employ in Idaho, Arkansas, and Minnesota, or the other U.S. manufacturers. When you go to buy ammunition, just remember, American manufacturing is the heart of this country. We have to support American manufacturing where we can. And we, again, thank you for using our product. Thank you for our confidence. And on behalf of the thousands of our employees,